da 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 Hello. And welcome to another Zelrog hosted JMU crew battle. This time between Luigi and me brawler, because I host the brawler crew battles, that's kind of what I do, so. Let me make sure that we are good and live on YouTube, because I now have to do that manually. Come on, YouTube. Oh, I should also, uh, I should turn off the chat box. As I do for crew battles, just to keep the, the footage nice and clean. Anyone, any, in case someone wants to make a uh, sick montage from some crew battle highlights. Hello, Cheese. Hello, Justath. How you guys doing? Oh, I gotta make sure I can see the uh, YouTube chat as well. Hello, Mr. Pink. I'm not in this one. So, I will not be playing. I did some friendlies a, l a few minutes ago, just, just for fun, but I've been very busy this week. Migrating our highlights over to the new highlights channel. So that's why we have, I also haven't been streaming. I've just been day in and day out managing that. We have a 5v5. Looks like Free GC is our first brawler, and I don't know who our first Luigi is yet. Hello, Jersh. Luigi Core did not post the YouTube stream link. Why they got a problem with YouTube. Also. I now have to scroll up my Discord list. Because I have too many Discord servers. And there's no good way to scroll Discord servers. You'd think that would be something they would have addressed by now, but no. It looks like, uh... Picks and bans are going on right now. me looking like. That's me, Mario. Choose your fighter. There he is. I don't think I still have a Waluigi me anymore. I, th I think I kind of retired him. I have Rai and Kaiser. I made them for the uh, Ryu crew battle. And they never got to, they never got to throw hands. No, I don't have a Waluigi anymore. I will be extremely disappointed if no one in this crew battle uses Waluigi. We gotta have Luigi versus Waluigi. I know Big Lord is not in this one. Which means we're not guaranteed any funny me's because Big Lord is the funny me guy. Granted, last time he used, uh, the last crew battle or two, he just used his uh, Captain Falcon helmet, Big Lord. No, those were the upbeat crew battles. That was the last thing we did, I believe. With uh, Lucario, was in the middle of that week. Luigi, by the way, one of my worst characters. Bottom ten in Zelrog hands, so... 
as I've been busy this week. I'm not Greninja, that was it, not Lucario. Did we fight Lucario? Yeah, we fought all the Pokemon. We we tried to catch them. Anyway, this will be a learning experience for me. Free banning final destination. Opponent. Future Doctor. Neutral Doctor. And Rayhan Enthusiast MD. I'm just gonna call him Doctor. Like the Metal Gear, like the, the Revengeance character. That, that's my mental image of this person. He's got a Metal Gear icon, so it works. Alright. Doctor versus Free GC. Luigi versus me, Brawler. Match one, and almost all the Brawlers are using the same moveset for this. Free, once again, rocking Dan Hibiki. The first battle of the crew battle. Epic. Thrilling battle. I don't think you can even call it footsies. It, it's socially distanced footsies. No, no one wants to get anywhere near the other one. I've played Free. Free is a, a very defensive player. He is determined to wait for Luigi to approach. Which is generally how I play against Luigi. Uh, what's going on? What are you doing, Free? Okay. Game. This was a button check, I guess. Whatever that means. A lag test? Well, Dan wins. Dan always wins, so... That's as canon as I'm gonna call it. Alright, for reals this time. Doc versus Free GC, the Dan Hibiki me. I'll have to double check after this match who the. Uh, there was one outlier who was not using the same build among the brawlers. lands the vacuum. Only lands two hits off it. I think Freeze too high for any big combos at this point. Covering his return to stage with shot put. Ooh. Luigi stuns with the vacuum projectile into a dash attack. Free makes it back to stage. Luigi makes it back to stage. Another dash attack. Still not enough to kill, though. Dan clanks. Oh! Up smash. Luigi gets the first kill. Dan's got him off stage, though. Luigi does make it back. Start to combo. Dan now at 21%. He's, he's going for that Thrupper. Dan wants the kill. Ooh, no. Nah. He lands the faint jump stomp, but it is uh, not enough, as usual, to secure a kill. It's not a very strong spike. There we go. Free GC with the up smash takes a stock off Luigi. 84 to 0. BMZ is using Axe Kick. Oh, that's the outlier. Seems everyone else has a uh, Thrupper. 
some debate on whether or not to uh, go to Yoshi's in this matchup, as both Luigi and Brawler benefit pretty significantly from it. Although I do think Brawler's Thruppers quite a bit easier to land than uh, Luigi's. Another dash attack. Not enough to kill. Luigi C goes for the D-throw thrupper. Luigi air dodges. Back throw for another stock off of free. Ooh, thrupper not enough from the ground on, on Pokemon Stadium. Rapid jab. He's trapped now into the grab. Oh, can he escape? He could not, he could not avoid it. The zero to death, we got it. Luigi wins the match with two stocks remaining. That is one down for Luigi's. Just uh, suck that up into Luigi's vacuum. And three off the brawlers. Dan and Luigi are similar in some ways. I, I, I suppose they are. When's Dan gonna get his own game? We're due, right? Thoughts on the zero to death. Uh, it, it, it exists. It is the thing in the game. I don't think my opinion differs from most other people's about it. It is a very centralizing thing about Luigi. Bowser had kind of the same problem in uh, Smash 4 with... Oh, what was his thing? It was up, it was up throw, up air? It's generally healthier for a character to have more options than one. Especially the way that Luigi Zero to Death works, mainly only at low percents. It means he has to play in a very, very specific way when the opponent is at zero. And then once that's out, out then he kind of has more freedom to... Explore other options, but it's very, it's very over-centralizing. Be nice for Luigi to have other things that he excelled at. I'm, I'm sure there's more to the character than that. He's not, not just zero to death the character. That's just a big part of him. But I wish for him to blossom as Bowser has blossomed in ult in the next Smash game. That would be lovely for Luigi. My problem playing with him is he's so slow and stubby. It doesn't feel like I can approach or do anything with him. Hello, Woko. Woko has the K now on Twitch. I love it. Is that from his channel? I have the uh, chat box hidden during matches. I, I can show it on the screen here. I don't mind if it's during the arena. Is that a JoJo? A Woko JoJo? I do not like your depressed Mario me. But he's not he's not depressed, he's just he's just a little scuzzy. It's realistic Mario. It's it's movie Mario. 
That's what he's gonna look like in the in the in the Illumination movie when he's played by Bob Hoskins. Right? They're getting Bob Hoskins back. I refuse to believe they'd make another Mario movie without bringing back the classic, classic Mario movie actors. You know who I blame for Mario? It's the Scapelli brothers. They're taking our business, Luigi. My head canon is that Mario is just a is he's just a Mario cosplayer. He wants to be like Mario, but he hasn't got no fire magic. He's gotta make do with, with throwing balls and things like that. I think the Mario movie actually had uh, it shared like a set designer with Blade Runner. Like, there, it's, the writing, it's very not Mario, that movie. It's awful in many ways, but things like, it does stand out in some ways. Like, the set design is very impressive for the time. Alright, Doc versus Queen of Hearts. Luigi versus Me Brawler. Match number two. Rocking Shantae. Someone in Luigi Chord was very upset at Shantae Brawler. Uh... Okay, they're live checking again. Is, is this something that Luigi Court always does? This happened once or twice. It's not really an every match thing in Brawler Court crew battles. We good? All right. Queen of Hearts doing, uh, lots of short hops. Ooh. Luigi lands the grab, but it's on a platform. Does not manage to zero to death. Queen now at 44%. Luigi at the funny number. Immediately loses the funny number. Queen using the same moveset as Free. Ooh, Thrust Uppercut takes the first stock off of Doc. I don't think I've seen Queen play before. I, I don't believe she's been in any of the previous Brawler uh, crew battles. This is a new face. Up Smash for stock off Queen. She's good, she's schmoovin'. Staying in the air. Oh, Luigi lands the grab. Shantae maneuvers off stage. Avoids the worst of it, 40%. Can she get another kill? Oh no, Luigi! Overestimates his recovery! Doesn't make it back to stage. That's an that's an SD. Okay, so that is one more off the brawlers. And two into the Luigi vacuum. Luigi's still maintaining a lead of one stock. Queen is clearly a contender though. She's having a good time, having a good time. Thrupper gonna take you higher and higher and higher. I've never seen a Freddie Mercury me. That's kind of sad.
This is an underrated theme song. I dig the Mario 2 theme. The Melee classic. Queen, Banning, Final Destination, Small Battlefield, Town and City. So who have our brawlers been so far? Dan Hibiki, Shantae, and zero Mario characters. Can we get a Luigi? Can we get a, a can we get a screwed up Mario? Uh, besides me, obviously. I wonder if Mario has a brother. I've wanted Shantae in the game since release. There are a lot of characters that I think would be cool, and you know what? I'm ecstatic when they get me costumes. Because my expectation is nothing. We won't get any Shantae. And a Shantae me costume is more than nothing, so I'm happy about that. It's a battle of the Shantaes. I don't know how to say this person's name. A Ticho, a Taicho. Akuna Matata. Sounds like they're going to Kalos. Alright, Queen of Hearts. Versus a Taiko. A Taicho? A Ticho. Brawler versus Luigi. Sorry, Shantae versus Waluigi. Queen removes her one stock that she lost in the previous fight, and begin. Ooh, Luigi. Landing a combo at zero that is not a grab combo. Shot put in neutral, gets punished. This Luigi is extremely aggressive. He's staying on top of Shantae. Giving her no chance to breathe. It's a very unique Luigi game to watch. Shantae at 91. Luigi still going for grabs. Back throw is his best kill throw, correct? How early does that kill? Shantae gets a rapid jab into Luigi off stage. Luigi missile cancel shot put. He eventually makes it back. A few percents later. Fresh nair. Ooh, he oh he F smashed the wrong way. Ate an up smash and lost a stock as a result. And immediately countered. Oh no, that didn't kill. That did. 
Both players now down a stock, zero to zero. This is a very well-matched game. Ouija getting the up tilt juggles, the combos. Again, no grabs, just a beat down. Queen, knocked off stage. That's another two off the brawlers and only one off Luigi. Alright, Zach K is our next brawler. Who else we got? I know BMZ is in our lineup. And Mr. Pink with Lonk on sub. Yeah, everyone's got the uh, same brawler build this time, save for BMZ using Soaring Axe Kick instead of Thrupper. I used my usual build. I did friendlies earlier with the uh, FMP and Soaring Axe Kick. Actually, my FMP, the neutral special, the Aura Aura Punch, got interrupted by Luigi Missile. I kept trying to uh, land it on Luigi Missile, and I would get hit before the punch. The punch activated, but I would get hit out of it. I think I was just getting hit before the invincibility frames. Was it at the start? The strangest one was the first time it happened. No, it was it was towards the end. It was in it was in the middle of Luigi Missile was when I was trying to get in. They just kinda canceled each other out most times. The first time it happened, FMP didn't even activate, despite Luigi being right in front of him. That was that was the strangest one. I wish I'd saved that replay, because I would have liked to look at that interaction again. No, it wasn't the start of Luigi Missile, so Luigi didn't have iframes. He just must have, uh... He must have just hit me in some way. Alright. Bataiko versus Zack K. Luigi versus... There he is. It's... Is that him? I was gonna say that... Is, is that our messed up Luigi? Is that Morio's brother? We found him! It's Lugo! I thought maybe it was Sponge from Vine Sauce, but that has a specific me, so I don't think it's Sponge. Zack with an early percentage lead. Oh, Luigi gets the grab. Does not secure it into anything. Gets another grab. And now we get the Shantae music, now that there are no Shantae's in the match. Previous match was Shantae versus Shantae. I guess this benefits a Taiko. This is his jam. He should be going for it. Oh, the sp the dare spike! A Taiko eats a stock. Zack, still with all three stocks. Low percentage Thrupper eats a Luigi Tornado. Oh no! Zack does the same thing as the last match! 
overestimate his recovery. That's an SD. Both players now down a stock. They're hanging out at that top platform. That's a place you don't want to be against a Thrupper Brawler. Ooh, Luigi Tornado at zero. Probably does more harm than good. But Tycho does not want to go to the top, and for good reason! Throw Thrupper on the top platform, and that's all she wrote. So, what is that? That's one off the brawlers and two more into the Luigi vacuum. He was avoiding that place, he was avoiding the top platform that entire match. As soon as he went up there once, Zack saw his, saw his shot. Man, on Yoshi's, that kills Pichu at zero. If I remember correctly. Yo, was that H-Box? Oh, I'm sorry, it's his brother, Hitbox. Never expect FMP to work, it's a broken move. Nah. FMP's great. This is a fairly close screw battle. We're still only one point away, nine to eight now. Where did Hitbox go? Oh, that was the wrong, that was the wrong person. We're still waiting on our Luigi to join the arena. Looks like it's uh, Zack versus Luigi Kid. There he is. I'm terrified. And I went, I went zero three. My first crew battle on Ganon Cord. I got wiped. It's okay, you get better. Oh. Sorry. Zack versus Luigi Kid. It's Lugo versus Luigi. No, I, I play Ganon. I was one of the Ganons. I did very poorly my first crew battle. Zack gets rid of his first stock. And begin. Luigi versus knockoff Luigi. The battle of the century. I assume that's like a knockoff Luigi. It might be a knockoff Mario. Or it might be a totally original Mario brother. A Mario OC, if you will. That's big, right? Sonic's got OCs, everyone's got a Mario OC. Luigi Kid, also going for brought for uh, melee combos. Brawler now up to fifty percent, far past the point of any zero to deaths. Oh, he lands a raw up special.
That was a surprise. Ew, says chat. Luigi, not even going for any vacuum grabs shenanigans. Just pure combos. Get Zack off stage. Zack makes it back. Luigi makes it back. Oh, the jab lock into down angled F, F smash. Luigi Kid maintains all three stocks. That's not good for the brawlers. Score is now 9 to 6. Luigi favored. Lugo just could not handle it. We still have hope. We still have BMZ. And Mr. Pink is also pretty good, if I remember correctly. I don't know if the Luigis have a, have a scary anchor waiting in the wings. The BMZ always wins. watched him do it. It happened right in front of me. I couldn't do anything. Please, please tell me that the Luigis actually have a combo called the Uwu. I would love if the Luigis have a combo called the Uwu. Some, someone in chat just said that. I think that's a better combo name than the Fortnite Flash, which isn't actually a combo, it's a technique for FMP, but... Okay, it's an old Luigi, old Luigi chord joke. Here we go. Luigi Kid versus BMZ, the brawler. Will he rock the floral hat? He is rocking the floral hat. Of course he is. Luigi Kid lost no stocks, so they can start immediately. Three versus three. BMZ once again. Our only brawler not to be using thrust uppercut. Did he just, uh, did he just reverse the vacuum? Can he do that? Luigi's a very stubborn, uh, very stubby character. Which is why I think I like having the, having Soaring Axe Kick against him. The pocket sword, as we call it. Mmm! Oh, almost landed a faint jump stomp in a good position. Mm, Luigi Tornado once again fails to kill. BMZ covers his return with a shot put. Up smash also doesn't kill. Very close so far. I'm worried the Luigi say they have a cracked anchor. In the, in the wings. A dash attack at ledge kills BMZ. And an up smash with invincibility kills Luigi. We're back to 0-0, zero to 2-2. Zero, two to two. Lots of close matches this crew battle. BMZ now at 50%. Ooh, Luigi Kid 
goes for another just plain up special. Whiffs it, does not get punished. Oh! He loves doing that! He's landed two of the three now! Oh no, the zero to death! He only got one stock. It's Brawler Court's darkest hour. We're down to our last me brawler, Mr. Pink. Eight to three, man. I don't remember what our worst crew battle was. We've we've won of the ones I've hosted, we I think we have a record of like 50-50 in terms of wins. Wario, we won by a single point. I think we won the Puff Brawler crew battle. Kirby was pretty rough. Oh, we lost to Puff. That was a really infamous one. I want to say it was like Palutena K. Rule. I know there have been crew battles where just no, no, the losing core did not get a single stock. It was 15 0. Ganondorf Pichu was 15 0. Ganon Cord lost to uh, me Sword Cord. Although some Ganons say that they didn't bring their A game for that crew battle. Eh, Johns. Ganondorf went uh, pretty much undefeated for a long period of time. But more recently, they've started losing some of their big name Ganons. So, uh... They've also started doing a bit worse in crew battles. Litany retired. Rest in peace. Alright. Hope. Oh. You forget to select the stage. Oh, we're going to final destination. Luigi Kid versus Mr. Pink, our last hope for a Waluigi. Oh. Oh no. Is this is this the VOD mute song? Is this the bad one? I'm gonna have to talk a lot over this. Uh okay. Mr. Pink lands a suplex. We haven't actually we haven't gotten that many suplexes this stream that I recall. Goes for a roll read into an F smash. That does not pan out. Luigi. Oh, does he get the zero to death? He does. That's already a stock off Mr. Pink. Isn't this the isn't this the, the ring-a-ding one? And anything in the soundtrack that's a J-pop song is just VOD mute territory. Oh my god! It hurts to watch. I know I wouldn't be doing any better. There's no stopping him, Luigi Kid. Mr. Pink wants very badly to at least get a stock. I want him to get a stock. Luigi at 127%. 
parries the shot put. Back air. There we go. Hey, one stock down. Just, you know, one to go. Going for Luigi's shield. Gets a couple hits and a suplex. Luigi now at 38%. Luigi kid lands the grab. GG. You just, you know when it happens. Hashtag just Luigi things. Mr. Pink isn't SDIing. Oh. Was, was BMZ SDIing? Well, he got one off. That's the best we could have expected. That's the best we could have asked for. Against the prodigy Luigi Kid. Thus ends the Luigi Brawler crew battle with a final score of Luigi's 7 to Brawler 0. 7-0 Seven zero ending score. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know if I'll do a stream with Jack later today. Jack has the day off, so uh, maybe we'll be able to do something. We're in the middle of Twilight Princess for the first time. We're still playing Hat in Time. That's it for the crew battle. Uh, I hope that you'll join us for whenever we do another one of these. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.